this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. Here is the sketch that we are doing and of course it's a 12 by 12 so that means I gotta stretch this either down to a traveler's notebook or to a two page spread. So this Miranda is going to do I guess a two page spread. After I've said I don't know how many times I'm not doing no more two page spreads so here I am. Um, so I am using the collection from Paige Evans. Oh, I can't think of which one it is. If I, um, I'll link it down below, but I have just the papers left of it and a little bit of embellishments. But the thing with Paige Evans, you can put all of them together and pretty much find just about any color that is in any of her collections will work out pretty much to the T. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I am working with all of the ladies at Stretch the Sketch. And so I am working, um, obviously all of the people will be linked down below. All of that jazz will be all there for it and whatnot to show you how you can do different things with that sketch. Um, for the most part, because I'm only really doing what we only do this once a month, I will probably say that I'll probably be stretching this sketch out to travel or to two page spreads. I'm not, don't lock me in on it. I'm just saying, I think that's probably what I'll be doing. But, um, I'm just going through and I'm wanting to make sure that these pages line up so that when I put it down, you won't see it on camera or even probably in the still shots, but, um, for me and my eyeballs, as I was putting this together, I had to match up these papers so that it looked like when I split this apart, you would see that it all matched. Um, but you would have to really, really be looking at it to know it. Um, it's just because I know me that if it doesn't, it'll drive me nuts. So I'm just placing, I did, I did very bold um, papers. That's just my jam. That's my normal repertoire for layering. And I did do um, a black border around this to tone down just a little bit of this cheetah blue type print paper. And then I did put the three layering pieces like it had in the sketch. I did that as well. And then you will see me come in with my banner so that we have that shelf. So that it looks like, like I said, so it looks like I am doing what it's wanting as a 12 by 12. So yes, as you can tell here, this is not going to um, match out, but I do cut it and then I place it underneath so that it's matched and you can see it on both sides and you wouldn't even know the wiser that I cut it in half. Just saying, see? See, I start to put that out and I make one side a little bit bigger than the other. I started gluing this down and then I realized that maybe I should have waited just a little bit to put this piece in there. But it's okay. I didn't quite put it completely down so I'm just leveling it out just to make sure that it's right and then I go from there. Now, obviously, I am trying my hardest to make sure that you can see as much as this as possible on the, you know, on the screen because I could, you know, it's a two page spread. That's the only thing I like, other than the fact that it's a lot of work to do and y'all know my two page spread theory, but at the same time, um, did I get it? You know what? I didn't even realize it's kind of crooked looking at it this way. But it'll work because by the time I put all the other stuff down, you won't even notice it. But um, with two-page spreads, it's hard to like have everything in, in the, like on film, on the camera. So I'm just going through the flowers and I thought that this would be a good place for my shelf for my flowers. So that is what I'm doing here. So let's see here, life. We have a tropical storm coming. Um, it's supposed to be bad for us. Now, 
I'm going to say bad because I'm hoping that when I say this, it comes out nothing. Because, you know, the last time we were supposed to have a very, very bad storm, um, they shut our school down for the day. And we literally, I looked outside and we had nothing. Like, it was nothing. So that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm going to go for. But um, the tropical storm is um, coming up from the Gulf, from Mississippi, and or coming that way like around Mississippi, Alabama area and then turning inland and going through me and then it's supposed to get up to Charlotte. But I'm hoping that um, when it hits land that it does its land thing where it doesn't do anything. It just like piddles out like it always does. So that's my goal. That's my hope. But essentially I know that I'm in the middle of that. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. School, I'm a week away. So when this goes up on Sunday, I am in my last week of summer school. I'm so excited. The kids are fantastic, though. I absolutely love it. It's enjoyable. We can just teach. Like I've said before, it's fun. I, you know, I have literally no issues. I just love it. It is a lot of fun. So that is what I'm working on that. And then um, Kaylin goes to summer camp. I got her signed up for summer camp. Um, it's here on, on post, so I feel very comfortable. And she needs to get ready to not be around her mama all day long because this mom needs a break. I was on with some of my scrappy friends. And, you know, when you're... I've been a single parent. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If, um, if you're not sure, I do have two children. And my very first children um, just graduated from high school. And him and I were a single mom and son for um, a good many years before I met Josh. And um, it, you know, I know what it is. I know how it's like. So being with Josh deployed and me being home and Kaylin only knowing the two of us and not knowing how a single mom and, you know, life is like, it's new to her. And for me... My breaks was when he would go to school, like for Austin, like when he would go to school, um, grandpa and grandma would take him for a minute just so that I could just, you know, get some stuff done around the house without, you know, 35 million questions. Because at that time, um, Austin was two years younger than what Kaylin is. So the last time Josh has been deployed, um, Austin was first and second grade. Yeah, first and second grade. So... In between all of that, he was the towards the end of first grade and then almost all of his second grade because he deployed March to March. So Austin got used to not having like a dad figure around. And I am now realizing that, yeah, yep, uh, girls are so different. Y'all, I don't understand how you can have like with y'all that have like more than one girl. I commend y'all. I commend you and commend you and commend you because, oh, my son was so much easier. But, um, so she's going to start summer school and, or not summer school, but summer camp. And then I am, um, going to, you know, I'm still going to, I got to get stuff done for school for the new school year. I got to work on getting all those papers printed out and ready to go and that kind of stuff. So it's not like I'm just sending her and then me sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. I've got college. I've got, you know, all this stuff. So here I am. Here's my layout. I started to do all this jabbering and then you guys got to see what I was doing. I wanted to add just this little fine line to all of the papers just to draw it in a little bit. You do see it on the still shots. Obviously, the still shots are coming up. Um, I did bring in the splatters. Y'all know if I don't add some type of splatter, something's wrong with me. I have tons and tons of still shots at the end. Make sure that you go check out everybody if you're new. Like and subscribe. I do upload between two to three times a week. And I've got a lot coming up. So I hope that y'all are staying safe. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.